Hey Lakers, welcome back to this week's Anchor News. I am your new host, Diego, and today I am with my co-hosts, Kejane and Anjali. Hey Lakers. Hi Lakers, welcome back. Uh, we have a program for you. Today we have announcements, weather forecast with Sarah, a homecoming report with Avery and his friends, uh, sports with Salman and Nate, and as well as some jokes that we must hear from Diavion. So before Halloween comes around, Cajun A has a few announcements that she would love to make. Need to make up credits? The Southwest AOC program for credit recovery is now taking registration. Yep. Students can register by following this link, which is on the school page, or scanning the QR code that's by the Council of Office. Credit recovery will be taught by Southwest teachers in Google Classroom format. Credit recovery will start in the first week of October to May 20th. Questions? Stop by and see Mr. Mountain in the counselor's suit or email him at his email. Come join MUS, the Southwest Ultimate Frisbee team. All are welcome. Even if you've never played before, just come check it out. For the Fall League, we have our co-op team practice Tuesday to Thursday after school and games on Saturday through November. Find out more information and sign up by clicking the ultimate link on the Southwest activity page. Come stop by, practice, and see what we're all about. That was quite interesting, but we should go on to the weather, right Diego? Sure. Okay, so some people are lazy and they don't want to write the weather. Um, <coughs> Sarah, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's probably gonna be cold. Oh, or yeah, something. I have to say this more straightly. Okay, so the weather is probably not gonna be warm anymore. Um, I hope that's okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's continue on with the news. Homecoming was a blast. We had fun, and we know you did too. Now, tune into Homecoming Festival with Avery and crew. Okay, are you going to the homecoming game? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are you going to homecoming? Yes. Do you got anybody you going with? Like, yes. You want to say their names? No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, first question, are you coming to homecoming? No. Are you going to the homecoming game? Uh, maybe, huh? If you did go to homecoming, do you got anybody in mind? No. Okay, okay. Are you going to the homecoming game? Yeah. Are you going to homecoming? Yeah. Do you have somebody in mind you're going with? Um, Sad. First question, are you going to homecoming game? The homecoming um, game? no, I don't think so. Are you going to homecoming? Um, no. Oh, dang. <laughs> if you were, do you have somebody in mind? I just go with my friend. My oh. Friend okay. First question, are you going to the homecoming game? Probably, yeah. Are you going to homecoming? No. If you were, do you have anybody in mind that you'll go with? No. Don't worry, I'll be your homecoming date. Lots of students didn't end up coming for homecoming festivities. Pet Fest happened on Friday, October 8th at 1.45. It started with a community parade featuring the Southwest Marching Band. Teams and student clubs after the parade, there was a spirited rally between fall sports teams and royalty introduced at the Southwest Stadium. Congratulations to the homecoming kings and queens. Freshman Adrian um, Stuffer and Liv Garnett, sophomores Lola Beck and Sam Scott, Juniors Vanessa Harris and Sterling Smith. Seniors Aya London, Ruben McGarlet, bro, I don't know what you mean. Micah Christopher and Isabella Wyatt. The Lakers football te team played on North um, Friday, October 8th. Lakers 14 and North 28. Although the Lakers lost, the marching band made up for it with a good performance. Uh, a heart-shaped hula hoop that functioned as a kiss cam. Many students showed their spirit with a lot of purple and more purple. The homecoming dance was on Saturday, October 9th, featuring songs such as Dancing Queen, Good For You, Brutal. Some students was wearing ties, outfits, dresses, formal wear, and it was fun. Thanks you. Thank you all for the festivities. It was great. It was really great to be back in the Southwest community. Uh, good to see that Southwest spirit. Um, shout out to Ms. Polanski, by the way. Uh, anyways, how did sports go, Salmon and Nate? This year's senior night was held on Super Soccer Saturday, and while the weather was a bit dreary, 
it didn't stop our Southwest students, friends and families from packing the stands to cheer on the women's varsity team and our nine amazing seniors. Great job, Southwest seniors, on your decisive 5-0 win versus South. Your love of the game and commitment to the Southwest soccer program makes it so fun to watch you all play. Congrats to the 2021 seniors, Claire, Bridget, Emia, Ella, Piper, Annika, Rose, Stella, and Jamie. In boys soccer, the varsity soccer team had an incredible past three games. On Thursday, the number six ranked Lakers reclaimed the coveted Sylvester Cup by defeating arch rival Washburn two to one. During Super Soccer Saturday versus South, in a surprisingly close match, the Lakers scored in the second overtime with roughly a minute remaining to win four to three. Tuesday night was senior night and the team celebrated in a grand style by beating Breck two to zero. The seniors are led by captains Charlie Smith II and Isaac Fox and Liam Town. Abdi Wasa, Muse, Amin Abdi, Carlos Segovia, Saig Gleason, Ian Sheridan, and Ollie Dam. These boys be these boys best exemplify what years of hard work, passion for the game, and commitment to their team can lead to. Congratulations to our seniors and their families. Go Lakers. By the way, boys soccer is undefeated in the conference and is going to sectionals. The girls volleyball team had a great season so far. After their win against South last week, they became the conference champs. They beat DLSL in four sets and played Washburn and Eden Prairie earlier this week. Their last game is on, their, their last game is senior night against Edina. They will say goodbye to Lily Spurgat, B. Pearson, Lucia Frailing, Bren Gustafsson, Violet Simming, Carson, Kias and, and Claire Nauman. Nice job, Lakers. Back to you, Diego. Kajane, Anjali. Mm. Are you ready to hear your jokes? Sure. No. Too bad, Kajane. Our mics are on and ready to give Davian the attention he deserves. Uh, let's hear it for Davian's food jokes because there are three things we all love food, humor, and Davian. All right, Davian, let's hear those jokes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Doris. Uh, Doris who? Doris is locked. That's why I'm knocking. Oh my goddamn God, Doris. That was amazing. What do you what? call a fake noodle? Uh, what? what? Impasta. Oh my God, that was even better. What do you get when you put three ducks in a box? Oh my God, what do you call it? A box of crackers. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, Davian. You really quack me up. <laughs> That's all we have for this week's Anchor News. It's already over. I'm feeling good. I mean, look at me. Don't we have some more announcements? More spirit? Oh my. No. Uh, but we will have some next week, so stay tuned. You're right. I know. Thank you so much, Lakers. Thank you. Thank you.